What is joint pain? Joint discomfort is common and usually felt in the hands, feet, hips, knees, or spine. Pain may be constant or it can come and go. Sometimes the joint can feel stiff, achy, or sore. Some patients complain of a burning, throbbing, or grating sensation. In addition, the joint may feel stiff in the morning but loosen up and feel better with movement and activity. However, too much activity could make the pain worse. Joint pain may affect the function of the joint and can limit a person's ability to do basic tasks. Severe joint pain can affect the quality of life. Treatment should focus not only on pain but also on the affected activities and functions. Who is more likely to experience joint pain? Joint pain tends to affect those who have had previous injuries to a joint. Repeatedly use and or overuse a muscle. Have arthritis or other chronic medical conditions. Suffer from depression, anxiety, and or stress. People who are overweight. Those who suffer from poor health. Age is also a factor in stiff and painful joints. After years of use and wear and tear on joints, problems may arise in middle-aged or older adults. Please subscribe and turn on the notification to get Nofify when we drop new video. What causes joint pain? The most common causes of chronic pain in joints are 1. Osteoarthritis A common type of arthritis happens over time when the cartilage, the protective cushion in between the bones, wears away. The joints become painful and stiff. Osteoarthritis develops slowly and usually occurs during middle age. 2. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic disease that causes swelling and pain in the joints. Often the joints become deformed, usually occurring in the fingers and wrists. 3. Gout is a painful condition where crystals from the body collect in the joint, causing severe pain and swelling. This usually occurs in the big toe. 4. Bursitis. It's caused by overuse. It is usually found in the hip, knee, elbow, or shoulder. 5. Viral infections. Rash or fever may make joint movement painful. 6. Injuries. Such as broken bones or sprains. 7. Tendinitis is an inflammation of the tendons or the flexible bands that connect bone and muscle. It is typically seen in the elbow, heel, or shoulder and is usually caused by overuse. How is joint pain treated? Although there may not be a cure for the pain, it can be managed to bring the patient relief. Sometimes the pain may go away by taking over the counter medication or by performing simple daily exercises. Other times, the pain may be signaling problems that can only be corrected with prescription medication or surgery. Exercise can help get back strength and function. Walking, swimming, or other low-impact aerobic exercise is best. Those who participate in strenuous workouts or sports activities may need to scale it back or begin a low-impact workout routine. Gentle stretching exercises will also help. Check with the doctor before beginning or continuing any exercise program. Topical treatments, such as ointments or gels that can be rubbed into the skin over the affected joint area, may also help ease pain. Some of these may be found over the counter, or the doctor may write a prescription. Dietary supplements, like glucosamine, may help relieve pain. Ask the doctor before taking any over-the-counter supplements. If those medications or treatments do not ease the pain, the doctor may prescribe the following remedies. 1. Supportive aids. Such as a brace, cane, or orthotic device in the shoe, can help support the joint to allow ease of movement. The doctor, physical or occupational therapist, or social worker will be able to assist with the right options available. 2. Physical or occupational therapy along with a balanced fitness program, may gradually help ease pain and improve flexibility. 
3. Antidepressants may be prescribed to help improve sleep for a patient suffering from joint pain.